Hey guys, I'm going to be walking us through connecting and creating a Turksbox um, free phone system, basically. Uh, now I'm going to install it on a virtual machine, and I'm going to have a IP phone on my computer call an IP phone on my cell phone, which is also connected to my home network. Um, Turksbox is a free um, asterisk flavor, um, which is a free PBX type of mod, if you will, that is... Uh, gives you the capability to have business class-ish telephony um, open source free goodness and I'm going to show you how to install it at least in the virtual machine and get basic call functionality out of it so I'm going to start by making my virtual machine then I get Trixbox just going to put in Linux and other I'm going to go ahead and give it 512 megs of RAM Create a disk. Um, virtual box disk is fine. Dynamically located is fine. Name of tricks box is fine. Eight gigs is fine. Create it. Once it's created, the only thing I'm going to change is its network configuration. By default, virtual box creates it as a NAT. In order to actually make it useful on our network, we want it to be a bridged adapter. And we also want to add the uh, Trixbox image to the uh, CD-ROM drive. So you go in here, click here, choose virtual disk file. I have mine hidden away here. And you can download the Trixbox ISO for free. Just Google Trixbox. Press OK. And now we can start the uh, virtual machine. So here's our Trixbox install phase. To install Trixbox, press enter. Very difficult. Now VirtualBox will go through and ask us the typical OS installation questions, country you're from, how it should get network connection, questions like that. Some of it will do automatically, other ones it will prompt you for. Uh, where should I be from today? Let's go with Monterey. Give it a password. I make them on Trixbox just to test with tef, test with okay so here's a screen we were kinda waiting for um, here you can see where it pulled the DHCP address from my home network I'm pretty simple with a 192.168.1.14 so what we can do is open it up in a browser um, if I could type P colon slash slash one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot fourteen. And here we are. So this is what you just installed on your network. And it's pretty much done. Up at the top right, you want to switch from user mode. The username by default is mate. And the password I believe is password. Yes. <laughs> um So, most of the configurations you'll find in here are uh, fine by default. I mean, uh, everything will function as a phone system right now just fine. Now, in order to add extensions to it, you go to PBX, PBX settings, you want to go to extensions, add extension, you want to submit for a generic SIP device. Now I'm just going to use 1000 and 1001. Display name, uh, desktop, I don't care. Secret, eh, 1000. Uh, that doesn't matter. Disable voicemail, submit. And I'll create another one. User extension 1001. Display name, 
sell secret 1001 all the same apply config restarts asterisk for you and then we can go ahead and configure our settings so I'll go ahead and name this guy desktop have the user ID be 1000 have the domain be the IP address of the server 192.168.1.14 and the password be 1000 as well hit OK of course give it access to the network and here we are now on my phone I will do the same thing but with my on phone app if you're curious I use an app called Linphone that's L-I-N P-H-O-N-E for Android. Set my username to 1001, set my password to 1001, and set the domain to 192.168.1.14. Be done. Go back. Registration on SIP was successful, so I should be able to dial 1001. From here, let me go ahead and hold up my phone to the camera and hit the call button. She's ringing. I can answer. You can hear me. If uh, I had the audio set up. So. Hello. Hello. See, I wouldn't tell a lie. Um, so that worked, and I can ring vice versa. So from my phone, let's dial 1000. Call. There you go. I'm going to decline it because I'm a jerk. And um, that's pretty much it. So that's how you make a basic phone call using Trixbox, and you just created a little telephone network in your home. That easy. Um, if you uh, have any more questions like how to you know, have SIP, trucks from, SIP trunks from the Internet or uh, how to put it on physical SIP phones, I'd love to answer them, and I'd love to make more videos. Just ask, and I will do it. You guys have a good one, and I hope this was a good tutorial for you. Bye-bye.